Okay, with the generator outside, take the end of this cord, that's always left plugged into the wall, come out here and plug it into this outlet right here and twist it. All right, generator's all hooked up. Turn the key on. Pull the choke out. And usually on one pull, it starts. Right, once the generator's going, push the choke back in. That's all set. Walk down cellar. Of course, if it's nighttime, you're going to have a flashlight in your hand. Real simple. Come down here. Walk over to the panel. And you'll see the generator panel right here. It says Gentran. These little toggle switches, if you look at them, they're on line right now. Just move each one of them to generator. Up, 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 up. And when you do that, you'll hear the uh, generator speed up, and that's what it's supposed to do. And when you're done, when the power comes back on, it's all automatic. Just come down here and put these back to line. All eight of them. All eight of them. Just like so. And you'll hear the generator slow down again. Come on up. And real simple. We're going to go back over. We're going to turn the key off before you touch any cables. Come back out here. Just shut the generator off with the key. Once the generator's off, unhook it. Put this back up over the box. Wheel it until next time. So just a reminder, when it's cold out, when you first start it, make sure you pull the choke out before you give it a pull. And then once it's running for 15, 20 seconds, push the choke back in. If you don't push the choke in, it'll still run, but it'll sputter and run hard. You'll hear it. There's a half a tank of fuel in here. It's fresh. I just changed the oil in this thing a couple weeks ago and should be good to go. Um, every month or so I'll swing by and <clears throat> fire it up and ex uh, exercise everything so in the event you do have a power problem um, you won't have any trouble that's it leave the wire like that the cord um, best not to unhook or hook this thing up with the machine running you can but just see it to unhook it off the machine uh, while it's off and <clears throat> there's a bunch of stuff <coughs> on the side here, but this is the 120, 240 volt you want to use. And if you, if you wanted to run a couple of outlets, you know, with extension cords for whatever reason, you can do that. And you could always charge a battery, but you won't have to do that. That's about it. Bye.